back again, another video from ChooseYourRelationships.com off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So I, I got a question from my man, uh, Apple Mac in the house. He's been following me for a good minute now. So he sent me over a question. This is something that I've never <laughs> tackled. <laughs> I've never talked about this <laughs> for, for good reason. You see what I'm talking about. He said, what if your mama is was a thought, you know, the hole over there, that, that the acronym. How, how, to sh how do you shake off the program of being raised by a thought mom? Oh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's, that's, this is the first time ever anyone ever, um, Ask me this. So what do you do if you were raised by an unfit mom? And what if your mom was considered to be loose? A loose girl. Loosey goosey. <sighs> you know, this is a touchy topic because, you know, a lot of guys, men and women, talking about the mom is off limits. No one likes to think, or they might think it, but they don't like to talk about how their mom wasn't the best mom. If she's unfit, she could be considered a hoe by some people's standards or use of language. But hey, you know what, man? We don't get to pick who our parents is, how we were raised, we were raised. We don't get to pick that. We come in this world as kids. We come in this world as a baby and we raise up as kids. And I truly believe our parents do the best that they can with whatever they have, with whatever, whatever they know. You know, they do the best they, they could. Now, once we get to a certain age, at some point, maybe um, our parents didn't give us the best guidance in the world. But at some point, you're going to hit, you know, come to a point, certain point in, down the road where it's like, look, I got to, I, I got to take the bulls by the horn. And I gotta do what's best for me. I gotta forgive my parents, forgive myself, and I gotta learn better. I got to do better. I have to take responsibility for my life. Everything that happened in your life, of course it wasn't your fault. Good, bad, or indifferent. You were raised by somebody else like all of us. Whether it's your grandparents or your parents, whoever. You know. So if you were raised by a not so good parent, unfit parent, maybe your parent had some issues. Alcoholic, drug abuse, etc. On and on. Who knows? If that's the case, you're gonna have to strip down. Mentally, you have to mentally reprogram yourself. You have to basically get in a totally different environment. You, you have to, and you have to um, bring in new information and replace that new information with the old information because it doesn't work. It messed you up. So, you, and this has to be, you have to consistently do this. So, <clears throat> this is what I did. Now, I mean, I didn't have to necessarily reprogram myself or anything like that. 
Some of the information I learned as a kid was good. And some of it wasn't so good. But I, but I had pretty good parents. You know, I had pretty good parents. But some of the stuff that they passed down to me, it didn't necessarily help me. It didn't hurt me either, but it didn't help me. So what I did is I pretty much um, I started to question everything that I was learned, that I learned. And the stuff that wasn't working for me, I dumped it, threw it out. The stuff that was working, that is working, I kept it, and I kept it, and I kept moving, I kept moving forward. Regardless of what happened, you gotta always keep moving forward. You gotta always strive to get better as a person. And you gotta get in a different environment with people that's gonna hold you accountable. And you have to have discipline. If you don't have the discipline, you can. You have to develop the discipline, because the traps have already been set for you to fail anyway. In most cases, so you have to have the discipline in order to sustain um, your way through this matrix. Because you're gonna encounter certain people along your journey, regardless of which route or what profession or career or you choose to take. It's always going to be people that's going to proposition you, test you, try to even trick you. But if you don't have the, but if you don't have the discipline, you don't have the right mindset. You are always going to be always going to fall for the okie doke. And you don't want to be a sucker. They say a sucker's born every minute, but I think a sucker's born every Every second now. <laughs> but you don't want to be that guy. So you got to be around people that's going to hold you accountable. And, you know, um, read books on whatever you want to learn. Audio books, DVD programs. You have to get into personal development. That's what I did. I just got into personal development. You have to feed your mind. I'm talking like every day. It's an ongoing thing. This has to be like a your your car has to be like a university on wheels. You know, you you have to have like for me, for example, I got over I got over five hundred books. And I haven't read all of them, but I know I read at least well, at least 500 at this point. And I still read books to this day. And I still go, I still meet people to this day based on the area of my expertise. And I'm still, I'm always going to be doing this. It's never going to stop. It's like I know people all, all around the world, all around the country. At this point, some of us in the same thing, some of us not, or similar. But this is how you get better, because you're only as strong as the people that travel around you. And this is how you hold yourself accountable. You build discipline, and you have to um, develop skills into something that you can um, potentially get paid to do for the rest of your life. It could be more than one skill. You know? So, now you might have to, you, now, here's the other side of this. You're going to lose some of your friends, some of your families, they're not going to want to um, hang around you too much no more. And some of you have to put space, uh, spend less time with your family if they're not on board with where you're going and what you're doing. That's a part of the game. Some of them might say, hey, you acting all uppity. <laughs> some of them might straight up start hating on you. That's to be expected. Don't expect anybody in your family to, um, be jumping up and down and 
high five in your ass. That's probably not gonna happen. It happens in some families, but very few. Very few, you know. But you know, you have you probably have to um filter and meet a lot of people before you meet the people that um you really want to be around, more than likely. And sometimes, um, if you're the only person trying to do something, it might be a little, um, how should I say, maybe a little lonely at times. Or maybe you might feel secluded. That's, that's, that's the word I'm looking for, a little secluded. You might feel like... Um, you want to meet other people that's into the same thing you're doing, but you don't see them and you don't meet them. So if that's the case, you might have to um, travel. You might have to go like to a, like a conference, a seminar. Could be in your local area, or maybe they come to your local area, or you might have to go out of state or go to the closest city, wherever you live at. So, you know, that's, and this is a long game. This is not like a overnight thing, something that's going to happen like next week. No, it took me, when I st got into personal development, it took me about two years before I started to see, um, tangible results before I, could, before I could see a difference and then five, when, when I, once I hit the five year mark that's when things started to happen that I couldn't really explain you know it couldn't like you know a lot of things just happen without me even necessarily trying it was kind of, I'm not going to say it was effortless, but it wasn't, but it wasn't, um, wasn't what I was looking for. That's what I would say. And this happens socially, could be socially with people, or could be physically, could be mentally. So you got to think about it like this. It took you a long time to get programmed grown up so it's probably going to take you a long time to get deprogrammed into what you want to be or who you want to become so think about it like that but the only difference now is once you get into personal development you're actually you're doing it your way you're doing what you want to do you become the person that you want to be instead of becoming the person that your parents wanted you to be. So, see, the, the person that you want to be, more than likely, you'll be able to live with that and sleep better at night because it's your idea. And you, if it doesn't go your way, whatever doesn't go your way, you won't have anybody to blame but yourself because it was your idea. You know, so see, when we're growing up, as kids, we're kids. We're not responsible for how we grew up. We're not, re not even responsible for how we think and our actions as kids. But as adults, it's on us. So it's all on you. So if you were raised by an unfit parent, and if she was a loosey goosey, a loose cannon, hey man, at least she brought you in the world. She did, your parents did the best they could. Maybe that wasn't good enough. If that's the case, you just gotta get into personal development. And my book, Love Can't Wait, it was all about personal development. 
It was much bigger than just dating women. My whole book, Love Can't Wait, was all about personal development. So, hey, you can find all about that on Amazon, Amazon.com. Click the link below to find out more about my book. The whole book was about personal development. From top to bottom. Because you you kind of you have to have a um, certain mindset. If you don't have a certain mindset, if you don't have um, if you're not grounded spiritually, financially, mentally, it's gonna be very difficult for you to make it out of here today. Just like I said, the traps have already been set. If you don't know the game, don't understand the game. You're gonna all, you're gonna pretty much always fall for the okie doke. So hey, go get my books. You can read all about that. You know. Check out my website, ChooseYourRelationships.com. So you tell me, did you have a mom that was unfit by some people's standards? And if so, tell me how you overcame some of the bad programming. So hey, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel, check out my website, ChooseYourRelationship.com. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.